there, everybody. I'm Matt Johnson. It is 6.30, and you are logged on to the Fox 40 News Information App. This is the interactive show where we monitor the news wires, the web, and our satellite partners to tell you what is hot. We'll tell you how to get involved with the show in just a second. We start, though, right now with the weather. Storm Track 40 Chief Meteorologist Mike McGowan is over in the Weather Center tonight tracking some uh, storms. Mike, uh, live radar is lighting up. Yeah, Matt, the uh, storms are getting a late start here in uh, Jackson Metro. Right now, what we have is a flash flood warning for some uh, fairly heavy storms right now. Again, we're looking at uh, East Central Hines County, also South Central Madison County for that warning. And also, in this weather for you and tell you what's to come heading into Friday. All right, Mike, thank you very much. And to now what is happening right now. Madison and Hines County residents are set to sound off talking about trash. They're meeting at Hines County Church to protest a landfill, the Little Dixie landfill. It would be right next to this one you see here on North County Line Road. The Mississippi Department of Environmental Quality is hosting that meeting. They're waiting to give a permit to landfill owners. Uh, they uh, want to hear what residents have to say about all of this. And Haley Westbrook is out there. She is tweeting from the meeting that's just underway. If we can take a look over my shoulder, we're going to have our Fox 40 News tweet deck up right here. We're following our Fox 40 staff. Let's take a look. Haley tweeting just a second ago. She just wrapped up an interview with the Mississippi Department of Environmental Quality. She says also dozens of residents are here, some holding signs, waiting on a meeting to start. We will check in with Haley again a little bit later on throughout the show. She's got some pictures to share with us as well. Tonight, as always, we want to hear from you on our Fox 40 News Facebook page. You can search Fox 40 News, like us, and post on our wall. We told you those Madison County and Hines County residents sounding off on that landfill proposal. Tell us if you would want a landfill in your backyard. We've got the page pulled up right now. We'll read your comments a little bit later on in the social app. Also happening now, it's our monthly Networking in the Neighborhood event. We are out at Tico's in Ridgeland this month. We do this the third Thursday of every month. Jessica Larche is just out there for social networking face-to-face. -face. We'll hear from her in just a little bit. Well, some uh, promising news now on the oil spill as we launch the local app now in the Gulf. At least one of the two relief wells may be done ahead of schedule. National Incident Commander Thad Allen says the drilling of a relief well is going well. It could reach its target during the next three to four weeks. The drilling for the two relief wells was originally slated to be done by mid-August. Once finished, BP will pump heavy mud down the relief well to try and stop the flow of oil. Mississippi Governor Haley Barber announces the Toyota plant in Blue Springs making plans to reopen. That's going to be next year. It's near Tupelo. The plant will produce the Toyota Corolla. It is the best-selling car of all time. When finished, the facility will employ about 2,000 workers. The plant closed in 2008 because of the economy. You can see statements from various state officials posted right now on our website at my601.com. Mississippi public universities are hoping tuition increases and enrollment growth will balance shrinking state funding. The State College Board approved 2011 budgets for the state's eight universities. Combined, their education and general funds will be about $7.2 million less than this year. Each of the budgets show cuts in travel and academic support programs. And after correcting a guilty plea on paper, Hines County Judge Tommy Green refuses to allow Karen Irby to withdraw her guilty plea to driving drunk in a wreck. Irby, who pleaded guilty to depraved heart murder, wanted to plead guilty on two counts of manslaughter. Irby killed Jack's two do Jackson doctors in that crash last year. It's time now to relaunch the local app with a couple other stories going on here in the 601. About 40 kids are having the time of their lives at a camp in Gallman. They're swimming, canoeing, and just being themselves at the Muscular Dystrophy Association's camp. Fox 40 News reporter Dustin Barnes went down there and had some fun with the kids. Matt, for one week, these kids from ages 8 to 17 take over the Camp Wesley Pines campgrounds. Many say it's the one week of their lives they don't even think about their disability. For many of these kids, swimming is their favorite pastime. The problem is some of them only get to take a splash once a year, and that's here at camp. Outside of camp, their disability usually keeps them out of the water. It's activities like this that keeps many of the kids coming back. It's a time of year they look forward to all year long. 
16-year-old Dylan Smith has been a camp participant for seven years. I enjoy people I've known. I've known those people for like seven years now. And it's like, it's fun to come see them again. Coming up on Fox 41st at 9, one girl explains being a teenager and living with a disability. In Capaya County, Dustin Barnes, Fox 40 News. Thank you, Dustin. And this afternoon, state officials approved layoffs at the Oakley Training School in Raymond. We first broke the story yesterday on the information app and on Fox 41st at 9. More than 100 state workers will be out of a job in just two weeks. The school takes in kids uh, sent to them by a youth court judge. There are 51 boys and four girls there right now. Well, snack food giant Mars of North America donates a concession stand for the Jackson Soccer Organization. The makers of Snickers and M&Ms spent the afternoon building the little shack to help organizations raise funds for equipment. This super fan concession stand here, it's at the Sylvia Road a spot near Callaway High School, just one of many across the country. Organizations like this that are small need this kind of uh, input to, you know, to uh, supplement their programs for equipment and such. Small places like this really do get a kick out of it. Good, <laughs> using a pun there. The Jackson Concession Stand is one of about 20 across the United States. Here's another way you can get involved in the information app. Go to the social page of my601.com. There you can see how to follow Fox 40 News on Twitter. We're at my underscore 601. Mention us and we'll get your tweets on the air. Right now, I'm headed into the Fox 40 News Information Center where we're going to launch the sports app. Travis Raychek is standing by over here. We're talking about Tiger Woods. The U.S. Open is starting off today, and Travis, uh, Tiger faced some tough questions yesterday from the media today. Mm -hmm. They're talking about golf. Yeah, and Tiger hasn't played great golf since coming back, but he has good history at Pebble Beach. But what about the Masters champ? Phil Mickelson going for back-to-back -back majors. Started okay, six straight pars, then things went south and when I say south I mean off the rocks in into the water that's going to be difficult to play from there Mickelson finishes four over par Tiger started later in the day he had some opportunities throughout the front nine but just couldn't hit any of his birdie putts he did keep the par putts falling eight straight in fact until he bogeyed number nine we can take a live look at the leaderboard your leaders right now are at minus two and you want to take notice there heath slocum yeah the guy that has ties to vicksburg with his dad being the head pro over at the country club there he is at two under and then tiger woods is at one over matt just through 10 holes so he is still on the course lefty's shot looked a lot like Yours and mine. Yours, just yours. No. Okay, we're both not very good at Pretty golf. bad. Thank you, Travis. It's a tough <laughs> course, too. Up next, we're going to check the weather again. Mike McGowan is watching some storms in our area right now on StormTrack 40 Live radar in the Ridgeland area. Let's take a look at our tower cam right now. You can see we had a rainbow there just a second ago. Kind of cloudy and raining right now in downtown Jackson, where it is 82 degrees at 639. Let's listen to uh, what's coming up on Fox tonight. We've got Glee at 7. That's followed by So You Think You Can Dance at 8. And the news is back at 9.